Section 2.1, one-sided limits. In this section, we are going to determine the left and right-hand limits of functions. Another way we can say that we are going to look at the value of the y that approaching to what value as x approaches to the value a from the left side or as x approaching the value a from the right side. By definition, the right-hand limit of the function f of x as x approaches a, the key term here, the right-hand limit. That means when you look at the real number line, the x coming power to the a from the right side, or we can say that x is greater than a. The notation is limit f of x, x approaches a positive. The superscript plus sign represents the x approaching a from the right side, or x is slightly greater than a. Another hand, for the left hand limit of the function f of x as x approaches a, We look for the function value as x approaches a from the left side. The notation is the limit f of x, x approaches a from the left or the negative. So the superscript negative side represents x coming toward to the a from the left side. If I sketch the graph real quick like this, and then um, for example, this is the point. Uh, make an increment. This is one, this is two, this is three. And then this is the value zero for the x. For example, this is one for the x. Okay. Y equals f of x. If we look at the limit of the function as x approaches 1 from the right, that means we look at the function value as x approaches 1 from the right side. Basically, just walk along the graph and see what the function value y approaching to what value based on the graph that I just drew, that tells us the function value approaching to as x approaches one from the right side, and x is slightly greater than one. Another case, if I pick the point zero and look for the limit of the function f of x as x approaches zero from the left, the target is at the x equals zero here. And the value x coming toward to zero from the left, that means the y, I'm gonna walk along the graph here, the y value or the function value approaching to the value one. So that means the value here is one. So we call that the left hand limit of the f as x approaches zero is one the right-hand limit of the function f of x as x approaches 1 is 2. Then look, let's look at another example. Consider the function f of x equals x squared minus 1 over the quantity x minus 1. We're going to approximate the limit by filling the table round to the nearest thousand. For this function, as we see x squared minus 1 as a factorable form, it is x minus 1 times x plus 1, all divided by x minus 1. The common factor here can be reduced. Therefore, the function is reduced to be the form of x plus 1, as long as x cannot be positive 1 because it's undefined there. Now we can compute the function value in the easiest way, in the easy way, easy way, as long as the x is not one. From the table, all the values provided are not one. 
like point nine, point nine nine, point nine nine nine, point nine 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 nine. You know, to the right side of the table, one point one, one point zero one, and so forth. They are not equal to one. So we can just do the shortcut by adding the x with the value one to get the function value for that particular x. Let's complete the table. If x is 0 0.1, it's going to be 0, point, oh, 0 0.9, sorry, 0 0.9 plus 1 becomes 1 1.9. And do the same way, 0 0.99 plus 1 equals 1 1.99. And the next 1.999, 1 1.999, So the second part of the table here, do the same way. So 1.1 1 .1 plus 1 gives us 2.1. Same way for the rest of the table. We can do in this fashion because the value that x provided is not equal to 1. This is 2.01, Now we're going to approximate. That's the objective of this problem. Approximate the limit by filling the table. The table is filled. Now we're gonna approximate the value. As you see, this is 1.9, 1.999, That means the left hand limit. Why is the left hand limit? Because again, if you draw the real number line, if this is a one, the value of x is coming toward the one from the left side. So this is one negative. The left hand limit or the notation limit of the function as x approaches one negative, approaching to the value two. So we get the left hand limit done. For the second group here, they, we are looking for the right hand limit, the value that we see on the table. They are on the right side of the value one. As x approaches one from the right side, we say one positive. The y values, they are getting closer and closer to the value 2. In this case, we have the left hand limit and right hand limit to be the same. And the graph can explain the situation as well. If you plot the graph of the function, x squared minus 1 divided by x minus 1, as long as x um, cannot be 1. You can see it as a straight line, and there's a hole, because if x is 1, the function is undefined. We look for the left hand limit as x coming toward to 1 from the left. What is the function value approaching to? Approaching to the value 2, as what we computed in a table. And similarly, as x approaching 1 from the right, the function value approaching to the same number, which is the number 2.